Any time a family decides to get a new puppy, it's a moment of great joy. These lively babies, however, have a lot to learn about proper social and behavioral norms, and they require your time and attention. Thankfully, puppies of the Cocker Spaniel breed are known for their high level of intelligence. They are quick to pick up new information and excel at learning new abilities. So here are 7 training tips for your Cocker Spaniel. First is you need to start as early as possible. Young Cocker Spaniels has the ability to learn quickly, similar to a sponge. This suggests that the earlier you begin training your dog, the more easily the lessons will stick. Between the ages of 8 and 12 weeks, puppies have the greatest potential for learning. You'll be able to start teaching your new puppy right around the time it comes home from its mother. To get the most out of this phase, you should get right in and start working. It will be more difficult to change unfavorable routines and behavior if you wait too long. You will want your new puppy to learn a wide variety of behaviors fast, including going to the bathroom outside and learning to control his or her bite. Next is to avoid distractions. A young cocker spaniel is easily distracted. It's important to have a peaceful and undisturbed space to train in. It will be difficult for them to concentrate on the task at hand if there is a lot going on in their immediate environment. There is a wide variety of distractions out there. Many things can serve as a source of distraction for a dog, including the presence of other animals, the aroma of food cooking, or just the presence of objects around the house. It's a long list. Creating a conducive learning environment for your Cocker Spaniel requires eliminating any and all potential interruptions. After your dog has mastered the command in a low-pressure setting, you should gradually increase the level of background noise and other distractions to ensure that they will obey the command under pressure. There are automobiles on the road, and you might be teaching your dog to stay, so this is crucial information to have. Third, keep your training sessions short. A specific example of the short attention span I was talking about earlier. Puppies of the Cocker Spaniel breed are notorious for their lack of focus. This means that if training sessions continue on for too long, participants will lose interest and the information presented will not be retained. It's preferable to have shorter, more frequent sessions. Try to devote no more than 15 to 20 minutes of your time, three or four times daily. Your Cocker Spaniel will become alert, enthusiastic, and ready to begin working once it begins to recognize the routines and events around it. Fourth is that you have to be kind when your dog gets it wrong. It's normal for a new puppy to make some mistakes during training sessions. Your dog will need some time to learn the rules. The rate of progress that any given dog makes in its education will depend on its individuality. You should just chill out and take pleasure in the ride. You can use this time together to strengthen your relationship. It's best to take a break and try again later if your Cocker Spaniel is having trouble with a certain task. In the end, they will understand, you just need to be patient. It's possible that your dog is starting to lose focus during training because the sessions are too long, there are too many distractions, or he's simply plain tired. In any event, put things on hold for a while and come back to them feeling energized. Fifth one, use positive reinforcements. Following on from the last step, when training your Cocker Spaniel puppy, make sure you only utilize positive reinforcement. There is more than one type of positive reinforcement. First, verbally praising your Cocker Spaniel can go a long way toward reinforcing the desired behavior. Penetrate a dog's defenses with ease by going straight for its stomach. Cocker Spaniels have an insatiable appetite. Prepare some delicious snacks. Cocker Spaniel puppies can also be positively reinforced physically. Scratching your dog where he or she feels at the most need, behind the ear or on the belly, is a great way to show affection and promote good behavior. My opinion is that the best results will be achieved by combining several of these strategies. Do you have other suggestions on what positive reinforcements to use? Share us your thoughts in the comments section so everyone can read too, and as you scroll down, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you won't miss the tips we made just for you. Sixth is to record your progress. Keeping track of how your training sessions go might help you target your efforts for maximum benefit. It's rewarding to witness your dog's growth and development from week to week. 
Just have a notebook on hand and scribble down what you think will be the most important takeaway from the meeting. I would keep track of the tasks at hand, our progress, and areas in need of improvement for the next meeting. You can improve your concentration and productivity by doing this before a session begins. When training, it's easy to get distracted. And finally, of course when you have your progress, you should reward every progress. Rewarding your cocker when they do something you want them to continue doing and praising them for it can help them learn what you want them to do. You may expect your dog to enjoy the experience as well. They hunger for the good feedback that getting it right brings. Rewarding progress can occur in numerous ways. In a manner consistent with the section on reinforcement above. Don't ignore good behavior without rewarding it. Cocker spaniels, on the other hand, are highly influenced by the prospect of a tasty treat. It, of course, can't always be an edible reward or you will end up with an overweight dog. A simple technique that will let your dog shine and display its intelligence is something I'd like to recommend. Just click the link in the description to gain access to the dog training strategy that will show you how to prepare your dog to stop behaving badly and become the well-mannered, well-adjusted dog you've always wanted. It really doesn't matter what kind of dog you have or how instilled the problem seems to be. Following this routine, I was able to train myself into a really lovable cocker spaniel. You can find the link in the video's description. And that's it for this video, we hope you learned from our list and give us a thumbs up. Until then, have a good one.